So here I have a problem that says a and b are positive integers, and the question's asking which of the following is equivalent to the expression uh, square root of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so I actually really like this problem. Uh, let me write this down over here. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And all of that is under the square root. Now, I'm making an assumption that a lot of you might have put D and just taken the individual square roots of everything that's underneath that square root and just figure the answer is D. That's, that's a trap answer, that's a trap answer, and the SAT loves throwing out trap answers. So if you don't think questions through completely, you will fall for those traps. But plugging in numbers here works great because there's variables in the question, there's variables in the answer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make up a number for A, and I'm going to make up a number for B, and I'm going to solve for that original expression. So let's make A2, and let's make B3. I can, again, make anything I want. I'm making them 2 or 3, first thing that came to my mind. So that becomes 4. 2 squared will be 4. Plus 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus B squared, which would be 3 squared, which will be 9. And all of this is under the square root sign. So 4 plus 12 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. So my final answer is square root of 25, which I know is 5. So when I made my A to be 2 and I made my B3, my answer comes out to 5. Now all I'm going to do is go through all my answer choices, plug my 2 and 3 back, and see where I get 5. So let's go to answer choice A. Answer choice A is saying A plus square root of 2 plus B. So that's going to be 2 plus square root of 2 plus 3. So I know that 3 plus 2 is 5, so this is 5 plus square root of 2, which is going to be a little more than 5, so that's not going to work. Then I go to B. B is A squared plus B squared, which is going to be 2 squared, which is 4 plus 3 squared, 9, and that's not going to be 5, so that's gone. Let's go to C. C is A plus B, which is 2 plus 3, which is 5. So I know my answer most likely is C, but let me just show you why D doesn't work. So A squared will just be uh, 2 squared 4, and squared, well, let me just write it out. <laughs> so I have A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So 2 squared is 4, but a square root and a square, a square and a square root cancel out. So if I have 2 squared, which is 4, and square root of 4 is 2, so which is just 2. Over here, I'll have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so this will be square root of 12. Plus, again, the square root and the square cancels out, so this will just leave me with 3. So over here, I'll have 3 plus 2, which is 5, 5 plus square root of 2, which is not 5, making my answer C.